But and finally I found uh, Riley Lefevre, who was a cousin to Miss Thomas, and uh, his sister, uh, Alfie, Alta. So uh, they lived at <clears throat> out really in a field. It was, there was no. Uh, they lived off the public road, so you had to go from the public road and drive through the pasture fields, and and that's uh, the first time that I. Uh, Visit. Well, he wasn't home. She wouldn't answer the door, apparently, because she was bedridden and uh, was apprehensive about being robbed or something, and later on was robbed. Uh, Miss Thomas had told me that you can find him at one of the stores. That's all he does. He gets up in the morning and puts on his overalls and gets in an old blue truck, blue pickup. Said, you won't have any trouble. Everybody knows where, uh, everybody knows him. So I got to, when I couldn't find him, drove to the first store, which was closed. I knew he wasn't probably there. Permanently closed. Prom permanently closed, yeah. And then I went to the second store. They were all within three or four miles of, of one another, and, and it was open, but uh, he wasn't there. And I went to the third store, which was closed permanently, and there's only one left, and <clears throat> went in and... There were a bunch of four, five, six old men and not so old men sitting around in the in the, in the back. And I, uh, of course, they pretended they didn't notice when I came in. You know, I had dressed in a suit and tie and all, been to see the governor. So they said, uh, I, I said, I'm looking for a man by the name of uh, Riley Lefevre. And uh, they looked at one another and uh, said, uh, well, said, I think he's here somewhere. And then I heard one of them go by and say, Riley, there's a man here with a warrant for you. And then they all laughed and Riley didn't know whether to come out or not, but he figured it was a joke. But he went home to his home and I followed him. And that's the first uh, meeting I had with him. And uh, <clears throat> everyone said, and Miss Thomas said, you know, uh, he may have some pieces left, but he he won't sell anything. Uh, the the old the original uh, home place was beyond where he was. He and his sister were living. They were living in a new house, however, very cheaply built and unfinished. The porch uh, floor had never been built; it was still a dirt floor. And <clears throat> but about a Two or three, four hundred yards beyond that was the old home place, and just beyond that was the uh, where they made the pottery. And uh, he uh, told me about uh, the uh, the old uh, home place, and 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 then I asked him about the uh, the jug, the famous jug, and he said that he was the one that made it. <clears throat> and then there were a few other little. Uh, uh, toys, animals, uh, frivolous uh, novelty type things, <clears throat> and uh, I said, "Well, did you all? Um, I did. I never knew of a potter in this area that made uh, frogs and uh, mules and toads and and lambs and things of that sort." And, and he said, "Well, he said we just made them on Sundays." And I said, why would you only make them on Sunday? And he said, well, of course, they had to work six days a week making items to sell, utilitarian items. <clears throat> and they didn't have anything much to do on Sunday. So the father allowed them to piddle around making uh, these uh, novelty items. And that was the, the, the jug. They made uh, chicken waters for... Uh, for use, uh, so that you could a gallon uh, jug be filled with water and uh, it would come out at the bottom. Uh, the only difference in the ones they made to sell uh, commercially, and the one this this uh, very unusual one with that figure at the top, <coughs> was the, uh, the fact that they had gone to the trouble of making this folk art thing and just just I don't even know whether. Uh, Riley himself could have uh, indicated, you know, what it was. 
but uh, they were, uh, like most people in, in this region, very pretty religious, and you didn't work on Sunday. But you could work on something that was non-productive, non-commercial, and playing around. That's why all these uh, uh, smaller items existed, because he and his sister and some of his cousins would piddle around out there and make these uh, smaller items. Uh, 